Hi, I'm Matt from Duo Security. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Duo with Cisco Firepower Threat Defense SSL VPN to add tokenless two-factor authentication to any Connect VPN logins. Before watching this video, please read our documentation for integrating with Firepower Threat Defense, also known as FTD, at duo.com slash docs slash Cisco dash Firepower. While this video will focus on the AnyConnect login experience, note that this configuration also protects web-based VPN logins using our automatic push or phone call functionality. Duo multi-factor authentication for FTD supports push, phone call, or passcode authentication for AnyConnect desktop, AnyConnect mobile client, or browser VPN connections that use SSL encryption. This configuration does not feature the interactive Duo prompt for web-based logins, but it does capture client IP information for use with Duo policies when the user logs in with AnyConnect. Learn more about policies at duo.com slash docs slash policy. This video will walk you through adding two-factor authentication via RADIUS to your FTD using the Firepower Management Center, also known as FMC. These instructions assume you already have a functioning FTD remote access SSL VPN deployment using an existing AAA authentication server. Duo Radius two-factor authentication requires FTD and FMC versions 6.3.0 or newer. To integrate Duo with your Cisco FTD, you will need to install a local proxy service on a system within your network. This Duo proxy server also acts as a Radius server. There is usually no need to deploy a separate Radius server to use Duo. Before proceeding, you should locate or set up a system on which you will install the Duo authentication proxy. The proxy supports Windows and Linux systems. The proxy can be installed on a physical or virtual host. We recommend a system with at least one CPU, 200 megabytes of disk space, and four gigabytes of RAM. In this video, we will deploy the proxy on a Windows system. After preparing your proxy system, you need to create your Cisco FTD application in Duo. Open a web browser and log in to the Duo admin panel. In the left sidebar, click Applications. Then click Protect an Application. In the search bar, type in Cisco Firepower. Next to the entry for Cisco Firepower Threat Defense VPN, click Protect This Application. This brings you to your new application's properties page. This page contains your integration key, secret key, and API hostname. You will need these during setup. At the top of the properties page, click the link to open the Cisco FTD documentation. Next, install the Duo Authentication Proxy. On the system you want to install the proxy on, navigate to the Install the Duo Authentication Proxy section of the Cisco FTD documentation. Click the link to download the most recent version of the proxy for Windows. Launch the installer on the server as a user with administrator rights and follow the on-screen prompts to complete installation. After the installation completes, configure and start the proxy. For the purposes of this video, we assume that you have some familiarity with the elements that make up the proxy configuration file and how to format them. Comprehensive descriptions of each of these elements are available in the documentation. The Duo Authentication Proxy configuration file is named authproxy.cfg and is located in the conf subdirectory of the proxy installation. Run a text editor like WordPad as an administrator and open the configuration file. By default, this file is stored in C, Program Files x86, Duo Security Authentication Proxy, Conf. Since this is a completely new installation of the proxy, there may be example content in the configuration file. You can delete this content. First, configure the proxy for your primary authenticator. 
For this example, we will use Active Directory. Add an AD underscore client section to the top of the configuration file. Add the host parameter and enter the host name or IP address of your domain controller. Then add the service account username parameter and enter the username of a domain member account that has permission to bind to your AD and perform searches. Next, add the service account password parameter and enter the password that corresponds to the username entered above. Finally, add the search DN parameter and enter the LDAP distinguished name of an AD container or organizational unit containing all of the users you wish to permit to log in. Optional variables for this section are described in the documentation. Next, configure your proxy for your Cisco FTD. Create a radius underscore server underscore auto section beneath the AD client section. Add the integration key, secret key, and API hostname from your Cisco FTD applications properties page in the Duo Admin panel. Add the radius IP1 parameter and enter the IP address of your Cisco FTD VPN. Below that, add the radius secret1 parameter and enter a secret to be shared between the proxy and your FTD VPN. Add the client parameter and enter ad underscore client. Optional parameters for the radius server auto section are described in the documentation. Save your configuration file. Open an administrator command prompt and run net start dual auth proxy to start the proxy service. If you modify your proxy configuration file after initial setup, you will need to stop and restart the duo authentication proxy service or process for your change to take effect. Next, configure your Cisco FTD VPN using FMC. Log in to the FMC console that manages your FTD SSL VPN devices. Navigate to Objects, Object Management, Radius Server Group. Click Add Radius Server Group. In the name field, enter a descriptive name such as duo underscore radius. In the description field, enter some informative text about the server group. Leave group accounting mode set to single. Leave the retry interval set to 10. You do not need to select a realm. Do not enable authorize only, interim account update, nor dynamic authorization. In the radius servers section, click the green plus sign to add a radius server. In the IP address slash hostname field, enter the fully qualified hostname or IP address of your Duo Authentication Proxy server. Leave the Authentication Port field set to 1812. In the Key field, enter the shared secret used in your proxy configuration. Re-enter the secret in the Confirm Key field. The accounting port defaults to 1813. This will not impact your configuration because the Duo Authentication Proxy does not support Radius accounting. In the Timeout field, enter 60. Next to Connect Using, select either Routing or Specific Interface. In this example, we will use Routing. Reference the documentation for more information on these settings. The Redirect ACL option should only be configured when using FTD with Cisco Identity Services Engine, or ISE. In this example, ISE ACLs are not used. Click Save, then click Save again to create the new Duo Radius server group. Next, change the Remote Access VPN authentication method to Duo Radius. Navigate to Devices, VPN, Remote Access. Click on the VPN configuration you want to add Duo protection to. While viewing the Connection Profiles tab for the selected VPN configuration, click the pencil icon on the far right to edit the connection profile that you want to start using the Duo Radius AAA server group. On the Edit Connection Profile form, click the AAA tab. Change the authentication server from the existing selection to the Duo Radius server group you created earlier. You typically do not need to select an authorization server or accounting server. Do not configure the password management options. Click the Save button on the Edit Connection Profile form. 
click the Save button in the upper right corner of the FMC console window. Next, deploy your changes to FTD devices. Click the Deploy button in the top right of the FMC console. Select the FTD device or devices to which you want to push the new Remote Access VPN config with Duo. Click the Deploy button. A notification will appear when the deployment is successful. Finally, test your setup. Launch the AnyConnect client and select the VPN profile that now uses Duo Radius authentication. To test your setup, attempt to log in to your newly configured system as a user enrolled in Duo with an authentication device. When you enter your username and password, you will receive an automatic push or phone callback. As the example user has already installed and activated Duo Mobile on a smartphone, you will receive a push notification. Open the notification on the smartphone, check the contextual information to confirm the login is legitimate, and tap the green button to accept. You are then logged in. You have successfully protected Cisco FTD with Duo.